Hello everyone, I've got a grocery outlet haul, the store with, that's right, crazy cheap prices everybody. It's been several weeks since we went down there and they have stuff everywhere, you wouldn't believe it. So let's get started with the frozen and refrigerated. Got some dessert, cherry cheesecake, Sara Lee, it's really good, I've had it before. Uh, only I hadn't paid just $3.99 for it. That's how much it was. They're about, uh, I think they're about seven or eight bucks, something like that at Kroger. They had Oscar Mayer fully cooked original bacon. There's nine to 11 slices in here. About what you get in a 12 ounce thing of uh, bacon, really, uh, for $2. I don't know if that's marked down. Usually, uh, if it's in green, it's been marked down. Okay, black bags today. <laughs> they don't have any name on them or anything. It's just black. That's interesting. Okay, got some eggs. They were $1.99. Right, ten. Got some of these. They're really, really good. This Pilgrim's uh, crispy chicken breast pipes. These are really good. Matter of fact, we're going to have them tonight. Tonight is uh, Thursday. And I got another bag. Those were only $2.50. Yeah, for those uh, breast bites. And then these wings, we've had them. And they're they're starting to run low on them. They had a ton of them. These Tyson Any Tizers wings, these are great. Honey barbecue. Uh, just enough for a meal for us. For $2.99, that's unbelievably cheap. And a bunch more of Jimmy Dean products. Oh man, they must have got in pallets of that stuff. Um, we got some of this, and I like the Jimmy Dean pre cooked uh, sausage, it's pretty good. And this is their maple fully cooked. I love maple sausage. And it was $1.79, and there's eight of them in there, so that's not bad at all. And then this is something new, and it's it still was cheap as the other ones. This uh, Jimmy Dean Meat Lovers English Muffin, two sausage patties, egg and cheese. It's got two. Now, if you if you weren't hungry, I mean super hungry, you could actually take one of those sausage patties off and put it on a biscuit or something one morning. Just leave it frozen. You know, so I could get four pieces out of this if I wanted to. Um, but, you know what? That's going to be pretty filling uh, with two of them. There's only $3.99. That's unbelievable. Uh, this is pretty heavy. It's, I can't believe they've got one with two of them. They had some of the Hillshire Farm uh, sandwiches. Um, I'm thinking they must uh, sell these to, like, vending companies and stuff. Because these are the... You used to call these wedges, you know, sandwich wedges or whatever, and uh, or a wedge sandwich, and um, they fit perfect in the the vending machines, the free or the refrigerated vending machines. And uh, we'll come up here, and uh, tuna salad is really good. I got two of them, and they're a dollar each. They had a uh, chicken salad sitting there, but it looked like it didn't have much on in it. A chicken salad. And we got some crinkle cut fries. Kitty wants to say hi. I'm gonna leave already. Got some crinkle cut fries for two thirty nine, and it's two pounds. They feel kind of small. These are the same uh, same ones as at Dollar Tree. They're awful small. They they taste fine and everything, but they're just really like small pieces. I like a long crinkle cut fry. And we got some. Hillshire Farm uh, Ultra Thin Mesquite Smoked Turkey Breast for $1.99. There's nine ounces. That's a great deal, too. Let's try and think. Did I say how much of the sa yeah, sausage was? Okay, I think that's all the frozen and refrigerated. So I'm going to put that up real quick and I'll uh, be right back. Okay, you got all that taken care of. Um, they've had these little different uh, deodorants. I don't know if this is the same brand though. This says Lucky for Men. 
this is deodorant. It's antiperspirant, new, track free, talc free. I don't have my glasses on. Talc free antiperspirant deodorant, spring fresh, original scent. I guess that's supposed to be like Irish spring. Top of the morning to you. I'm feeling very good with my Irish spring. Mmm. The only thing about it is it feels awful light. And it's only 1.6 ounces. Of course, it was just a dollar 19. I have a feeling that the deodorant only goes down to about right there. Um, I mean, there's no way that there's that much in there. It's too light. But for dollar 19, it's worth a try, and see how long it lasts and stuff. Because that's, you know, deodorant's expensive, especially the Axe. You know, we like it the best, but my goodness, the only time I really get it is if I have, like, I'll have a. Kroger will send me some coupons for a dollar off and then lots of times Ibotta has uh, rebates on it so I try to get it to where both of those things can you know at the same time uh, use a coupon and then also get something from Ibotta um, that's about the only way we can afford it because it's over five dollars for one about this big uh, so anyway we thought we'd try that and see what it's like uh, next time we go, they may have all different ones. I don't know, but they've had this the last, uh, they've had some cheap ones uh, the last three or four times that we've been there. We just hadn't tried this one until now. Okay, I got a couple different ketchups um, because I want to see how good they are. Uh, this one, and they're both organic is what's good. Um, what I need, what I do is I need to wait until they mark them down, which is what they did on this one. This one's called Field Day Organic Tomato Ketchup. I really don't know who produced certified organic by something. Field Day, Field Day. Okay, and what I like is organic tomato organic sugar so no high fructose I, i'm i'm trying to get away from that as, as many things as possible so usually organic ketchup is more you know kind of more expensive than regular but you, you wait until it's marked down i got this one for a dollar it's like 24 ounces also got this um i don't know how hot this is going to be but i've seen these on tv and stuff this is a Tostitos Toppers. It's fire roasted red chili, red chili pepper sauce. It says hot. We'll have to see how hot it is. And this one was, I can't tell how much it was before. It's a dollar some, uh, but it's been marked down to 79 cents when you look for the green. So I thought it was worth uh, getting more and see. And I was, I was hoping they'd have another other flavors of it. Got some, uh, this is the same stuff I believe as uh, Dollar Tree's, Supreme Tradition. Got some Himalayan pink salt. I really like Himalayan pink salt. I don't know what it is about it. I just like it uh, for a dollar. So it's cheaper than Dollar Tree, see? 25 cents cheap. Oh, we got two of these. Uh, we probably should have got more even. Uh, we got two of these last time, these Del Monte fresh cut uh, Italian beans. Uh, made with sea salt or with natural sea salt. These are really good. They're just as good as Allen's. I seasoned them myself, you know, with some stuff, but I think I put some uh, Jeff's all purpose seasoning in it. But you can put anything you want or nothing. Uh, they're really good though. So 79 cents. So I got two of those. I don't see the other one right away. Um, I got some sloppy joe sauce. We just used a man, which, and I actually have another man, which, but this one, this Vine Ripe brand, that is red gold. And everything of red gold is really good tomato products. So I figured slop, their sloppy joe sauce would be good for a dollar. That's cheaper than man, which, right now. Um, we got a couple of these already. But we got one more, and if they have some more when we go next time, we'll probably get another one. It's Pam. It's Pam Spray, but it's in, like, Arabic. The writing, they put a, a label around it, see? They stick a 
sticker around it, but it's, you know, and that's fine with me. It says Pam right there underneath this, I'm sure. This is looks like the olive oil one. Um, I can't tell, but the, the green makes me think this is the olive oil one. I'm, I'm probably, yeah, extra virgin olive oil. So $1.50 for Pam is way cheap, way cheap. I got one of these. I'm thinking about trying it. It's a it's a, a Pampa Yellow Cling Sliced Peaches and Light Syrup. I might try this one morning on morning coffee break or something. Um, but it was a dollar. I got. They usually don't have much for cats, but I got one of these. And Kitty's been over there eating it. Um, but there's a lot in the pouch. I gave her the. Um, tuna and gravy this one and she's that's an awful lot uh, that's in the pouch but she'll come back and eat some more of it but uh, she'll never finish all that there's quite a bit in there but there's 12 pouches there's chicken and gravy ocean white fish and tuna and gravy and tuna and gravy so and she was eating it uh, so 4.99 for 12 I already opened it, as you can see, is, um, that's, that's real cheap, because we, those ones that we get are, um, the appetizer things, they're like, um, I think with tax and all, they're like over $15 for, for 10, um, so four ninety nine for 12 of these, and they're, uh, you know, a variety, that's a real good deal, hopefully she'll like them, um, you just can't ever tell about Kitty. So she was eating it. Sometimes when I get new stuff, she'll eat it the first time. And then the next time she's like, eh, you know, I don't really know if I want this or not. She's real, she's just real not picky. I got some of these sponges. I think I just got three. Uh, they're real good. They got the scrubber thing on them. And they're only $1.19 for two. And so that's not bad at all. I keep several of those because... Sponges, after you use them for a while, of course, they get bacteria in, in them. And I've heard you can microwave them. I usually just toss them after they, you know, we've used them a while. So that's why I try to get them cheaper. <laughs> okay, um, Joy got some of these uh, Dixie bowls, paper bowls. Mm. Oh, they, I don't know if I said these were dollar nineteen. I think I said two two ninety nine. If you've priced these, though, that's that's still pretty cheap. Uh, like at Walmart, they're pretty high now. I got some of these, but they're awful small. I'm wondering if the um, I'm wondering if the actual sheet of of tissue is small too. It's Royal Original. Two, they're two ply at least. And there's only a hundred in it, but it was, it was only a dollar. But I got a couple because I really needed some. And I don't know, for a dollar, that's probably not too bad. I just hope the sheets are regular size. You know, they, they could make this boxes smaller on most things, like the tissue even. Uh, even with the tissue, I mean. Uh, because I'm sure there's space in the box. But this one looks like it's full, like all the way around, you know. So I got two of those for a dollar each. This is the other one. And got quite a bit of stuff. I mean, you can't help it. They got name brand stuff so cheap. Uh, this is Belveda soft baked banana bread uh, biscuits or whatever they want to call them, breakfast biscuits for a dollar. That's cheap for them, I know. Um, I got some, I got more than that around. I don't know where the other ones are. I got a couple, I think two or three brown gravy mixes with 30% less sodium, 89 cents. I got some pepper gravy, peppered gravy, 89 cents. I got like four of them. I got these for Logan uh, to try on his show, or I guess all time too. I don't know if we've had these or not. I don't think so. It's Pillsbury Funfetti Popcorn with Funfetti Glaze. 
Jackson. Like that. I got, we got this for Logan here. Moose Munch uh, M&M Minis. Premium popcorn. Harry and David. And $1.99. It's way cheaper. I guarantee you that's probably over $5 somewhere else. I got one of these. I don't know if I'll try it. Maybe I'll do a taste test with Mike one day as it starts getting colder into fall. Uh, this is Cheddar Potato Soup Bowl. Uh, Bear Creek. I'm sure everybody's heard of Bear Creek. So that's a good one for a dollar. And I got one of these. I don't know about them. I don't know what they would be like. What they'll be like. Uh, La Costina. Corn, it's a corn tamale. It's a product of Mexico. So there's a tamale in here. And it was a dollar. And they had, actually, they also had one that was a sweet tamale. I don't remember if it was like strawberry or something like that. I was like, what? Yeah. We just got this one to see what it's like. Kind of curious. Okay. This is one to try on Logan's show, and it was a dollar forty-nine. It's Kapop, K-A-P-O-P, Super Grain Cinnamon Churro Puffs. It says only three grams of sugar per serving. Kapop, dollar forty-nine. Look at this, I got Cinnamon Toast Crunch made with Cinna Dust cookie mix for a dollar, Betty Crocker. I know Logan's gonna go crazy over them. I bet they're really good too. Shows me that one with the icing on it or something. I guess, I guess you could put. So that was, yeah, a dollar. Um, oh, I've never seen this either. Uh, it's Pioneer really is my favorite brand of, of, you know, like pepper gravy and stuff. But I've never seen a cornbread mix that was Pioneer. I don't know if this is brand new or, uh, but it's yellow cornbread mix. And it was a dollar. That's a great deal. So I got, I got four of them. We, we you know, we eat a lot of cornbread, especially when it gets cooler, we'll have like soup with cornbread, I'll make chili, we have cornbread, beef stew we just had, we have cornbread with it, so that's that's great for a dollar each. And I got this um, Mary Lee's Hospitality uh, Strawberry Muffin Mix. It's got imitation strawberries, but I'm sure they'll still be good. 69 cents. Another great deal. And uh, we like, we, we use uh, imitation vanilla sometimes, <coughs> but we like, you know, real vanilla extract, and but it's really expensive. So this is only one fluid ounce. They had one that was bigger, but it was $5.99, and we decided to wait for now. But this one was $3.39, which is actually a good buy still. Uh, and the other one, I'm sure, was a good buy too. It was a much bigger bottle than this one. Uh, maybe we'll get it some other time if they still have it. But we got that. Oh, really? That's more than I thought. Got some great markdowns. Here's one of them, too. Um, these Nature's Nature Valley Sweet and Salty Nut Chewy, Chewy Granola Bars. It's a variety pack. It's got peanut and almond. Twelve bars in it. I forget how much they were. They were like two ninety nine, I think, and now they're only a dollar forty nine. That's super cheap markdown. That's the way to do it. And then things that, you know, I don't know what this, even if it's out of date already or not. But twenty third of September. Okay, these are hard as a brick anyway. They're not gonna be like soft or go stale really, as long as they stay in these packages. And uh, they won't last forever, you know, with us. So, uh, no problem. I, I, we've not had one problem with stuff that we bought that was even already out of 
day. The, the dates go much longer than, than anybody can imagine. Um, they've got a thing on their website about it. I don't know if, I can't remember if it's a video. I think it might be a video. Look up, uh, it's myyougo.com, I think is what it's called, or, or yougo.com. I, th I think it's myyougo.com. It's United Grocery Outlet is their, like, main name, but they always put Grocery Outlet on their signs. I don't know why they don't put United. Anyway, here's a Betty Crocker Complete Pancake Mix. It's Flavor Burston Maple Brown Sugar. Oh, my goodness. And we got some maple syrup. And it was $1.49. So that will be great. Let's see. Okay, here's the other Italian green bean. I got one more of these. I tell you what, these are really handy. They, they're they're the like French fried onions, but they're all crunched up. Uh, I've thrown some on sandwiches. I put it on. Uh, what was it I had the other night? Was it the baked potato? And I put it on something else the other night. Um, I can't remember what it was, a sandwich or something. Uh, but you just throw these on there. The other ones are, you know, like bigger and they're kind of a little bit harder to deal with if you're doing something like that. So crunched up like that, they're really good. And it's only a dollar. And they got a bunch of these, a bunch. And what I do is when they get something that we like, um, it's I'll look at the uh, date and you know after it goes after the if it goes past the date they'll mark these probably 50 cents or less you know which is a fantastic buy it's four ounces that's as much as in those pouches that's a dollar 25 or or at other stores higher but um, I like this little container too these are neat little containers for stuff you know if you have a little bit of something or anything you can put use them for so yeah those are really good and they're not these only have 40 calories in two tablespoons and the other nutrition facts are really low I mean I don't have my glasses but I, I can see that the numbers are low okay I showed that okay the last time I got these I haven't tried them yet I was gonna try the I've got the Country Time regular, their original uh, lemonade in these little bottles. And I, I've got it in the fridge. I think I do. No, it's not in the fridge. I need to put it in the fridge and I'll try one of those one morning uh, the, and one of these. This is strawberry lemonade, Country Time. And it's only $1.29. <laughs> my, my voice is gone. So I, I'm, I'm thinking that's going to be really good. Um, and then, oh, Joy got this for Logan. I don't really know what it is. Well, here's a drink. Um, True North Pure Energy Seltzer. I don't know what, what flavor this is. It doesn't really say. But it was 50 cents. It's an energy drink. Okay, this is cute. It's Star Wars Mandalorian. Man, I need some kind of glass. There's bound to be some over here. I don't know whether you can see through them or not. I should have brought my glasses in here. Okay, that'll work. It is Finders Keepers Gummy Gummies and Surprise. It's a uh, Star Wars Mandalorian. Oh, you they've got different ones. This is the only one they've got there. They got like you can collect them. They got all kinds of different ones. So it's gummies and surprise. Okay, so there's I guess gummies in this. I don't know. Either the surprise is in this and the gummies in there, or vice versa. Um I don't know, that would be something cute to try maybe on Logan's show, unless he wants to open it and go ahead and open it if he wants. Uh, and 
This is the last bag, I believe. Okay, here's the other ketchup I got. And it is 38 ounces. I could have got two of those and had 48 ounces for $2. And this was $1.99. But I wanted to try this brand, Good and Gather. Do y'all know what brand that, have you heard of that brand? Organic Ketchup. And there's no high fructose, no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. Organic tomato, organic sugar, organic vinegar, blah, blah, goes on down. It's not really got that many ingredients. This one says refrigerate after opening. Some of them, they don't say on them. Okay, it says Target Brands. Shop Target. Okay, so this is from Target, everybody. That's, that's good to know. So I'll bet you it's really pretty good. Yeah, it's got Target on it back there, so that's pretty neat. Okay. They had a bunch of different crossword puzzles up there, and they've been marked down. They were they were a dollar, and they're only twenty five cents. Um, I just grabbed this one for joy because. It's a TV Guide magazine crossword puzzle, so I imagine it's, you know, TV type stuff. Yeah, J.R. Ewing, the, the Lizzie McGuire, Suddenly Susan. Oh, I can see in the things, you know. So I thought that'd be something for her to do. And cheap, too. I should have just got some more of them. But, you know, if you get a crossword puzzle, it's not something that you really know about. You're never going to get the whole puzzle done anyway, you know. I mean, it'd be if you don't know any, you can't you can't do it if you don't know. Them. So I just got her that one for now. I don't know if this is different or the same, but it's the same as that other one. That's a good buy on that crossword puzzle. It being a dollar before, and these have you know you can't say these really expire or go bad, you know. So they didn't really have to do that. They just want to move. They probably had them for a while, and nobody was buying them for a dollar. And they just want to get rid of them. Okay, uh, we're curious about this. It's craft sandwich spread. It says America's favorite. I don't know, but we thought we would try it. It's got a great. It's got a good date on it till November or something. End of November, twenty third or something. For a dollar forty nine, as you can see. So I don't know. I don't know what that's like. There's my other brown gravy, 30% less. There's another one of these. I got this also a great markdown. Uh, this is veg uh, Progresso Vegetable Classics Macaroni and Bean flavor or soup. And if, I can't remember. It seemed like it was $1.99 or something like that. But it's a dollar now. So that's a great deal. We already got a bunch of soups that I stocked up on and we, you know, don't eat soup really in the summer. So they've still got a good date on them uh, that I bought because I bought them last winter. But we'll have enough. We eat a lot of, uh, in the in the winter, we'll eat, have like a soup and sandwich night each each week. So I got this one for Logan. I thought he would like that. And a dollar's a great buy. Um, Another pepper gravy. Another one of these. Something else in here. Another pepper gravy. So, all that was like, oh, I don't have the receipt. Uh, about 82. Or something like that 80 something 82 I think so anyway that's not bad I mean that we got a lot of stuff and like like you like I said it's you know all name brand pretty much you'll have some off brands every now and then but you know Progresso Bear Creek this one's from Target you know uh, so that's all good stuff Betty Crocker uh, you just can't, you can't go wrong I mean um, stuff like this will last way longer than what it says. 
Uh, it's December 19th, but it'll last longer than that, you know. We'll eat it by then. I'll probably try that one day. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoy this grocery outlet haul with crazy cheap prices. It's a massive haul. Well, you know, 80 bucks is a lot of stuff at, at grocery outlet. It really is. It's like your buggy used to look like at Aldi. When we first started buying at Aldi, when they first, you know, came here, we'd get a whole buggy load of stuff for like 80 bucks. Uh, I'm not kidding. It's gone way up since then, but for, for a long time, we got way cheap, a whole buggy full of stuff for cheap. So the, you can still do that, though, at grocery outlets. So I hope you all enjoyed this. I'm sorry it ran a little bit long. I like to be thorough on my hauls and give you as much information as I can. So if you did like it, I hope you'll press the like button. Uh-oh. Uh, also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great day, and God bless.